Lim Guan Eng boasts about how Slango, under the Pakatan State Government, has implemented the Freedom of Information Act since 2010. But the question is, are they practicing it? The latest deforestation fiasco shows that the Slango Freedom of Information Act exists in theory only and not in practice. Consider the evidence below. When Otai Reformasi filed an application under Freedom of Information State of Slango Enactment, and requested the state government to disclose information on quarry activities in Bukit Lago. The Slango Pakatan state government in April 2022 replied that, oh, I'm, we are sorry, we cannot disclose the information and it is classified as confidential and secret under the Official Secrets Act 1972. When the Bukit Lago issue blew up on social media, the Menteri Besar could not give a reply. Instead, he dodged and sidestep the question altogether. Despite more than 300,000 people having signed the petition to save Bukit Lagong Forest Reserve, there is still a depletion and lack of information by the Slango Pakatan Harbon state government. What are they hiding? Reveal to the people, reveal to us in Slango. Who are the developers? Were there EIA reports done for each successful logging award? So far, we have heard only one developer is reported to have submitted the EIA. But what are the findings of the EIA report? What compensations are available for damaged homes, properties and lives destroyed due to floodings? What alternative arrangements for the displaced Orang Asli? To the slang of Pakatan government, stop hiding behind OSA. Practice what you preach. Freedom of Information Act. Freedom of Information, not Official Secrets Act.